Hey guys, welcome to the Nine of the Week. We are continuing our DIY knot board display this week with the taut line hitch. This is one of the most versatile knots that I know. It's probably in my top five, so let's get into how to tie it. All right guys, so to tie the taut line hitch, you are gonna need something as a fixed point. So this would represent either a stake in the ground or uh, a loop like this. And again, the versatility in this knot comes from the fact that it can be adjusted. So it's like a sliding adjustment um, or sliding tension. So the first thing you wanna do is come around the object. It doesn't matter whether you go this way or that way as long as you just remember these next steps. So once you have your line, you wanna take that working end and if you can imagine this right here being a loop, so by coming over that, you've essentially created a little loop there. That's the way I like to think of it. And I wrap two times inside of that loop. So again, that was cross on top, inside once, inside twice. So, and then you, you're pulling it up like this. So what you want is that pattern right here, because you're almost trapping that like so, and that's kind of where the, the function of the knot comes in. So again, what you want to do from this point is you're wanting to cross over the standing part of the line, so kind of where I'm holding tension is technically the standing part right now, um, and you want to come around like this. And the checkpoint here, once you make this wrap, because now the knot is complete, is to kind of tighten everything up, and the goal is that where the adjustment is coming from. So it's gonna adjust right here. So meaning I can hold this knot and just adjust that out to vary what I'm doing there. And the beauty is, is that I can pull on this all day long and this is not going to slip. So that's what's great about a taut line hitch. However, the little checkpoint, like I was mentioning, is that this standing part, which technically was our working end, needs to come opposite of the loop and it's really kind of a tough thing to remember um, the way I like to to remember it is the direction at which I came to wrap from it needs to go opposite from that so I think of this line because we came this way uh, to start tying um, I don't want it running that direction what that looks like the wrong way um, is by coming this way like this and now they're parallel to each other that makes sense so what you see now is almost like three stacked lines together and then this is almost running parallel with that. You don't want that because it will slip more than the other direction. It's not wrong per se, will it still hold more than likely, um, but the, the correct way to do this is to come back this way and go opposite. So you kind of, you can see that gap in there. So what I want to do too is move on to a, a larger diameter line just so you can kind of visually see this maybe a little better too because I know this paracord is a little hard to see. However, I do want to mention that this is the ideal type of cordage to tie this with because when you get into larger diameter cordage like this, it's really tough to, to hold this kind of knot on something like this, especially because it's, you know, this is more of an accessory cord. It's nylon, um, it slips, and this is kind of a kermanal construction accessory cord. So again, if you can kind of envision there that that's our fixed point. You're going to come around like so. Wrap twice on the inside. So I'm kind of doing it opposite from what I did before so you get to see the other way around. And remember if I went this way they'd be parallel. I want to cross over and back through this way like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just tighten it up so I can tighten the overall knot up and then I'll adjust it back out. Because like I said, this rope can be a little unwieldy to work with. So there's our taut line hitch in the larger diameter rope. So again, you can kind of see how it's almost falling apart, you know, as we're moving it around. And that's just a, a you know, a, a cause of the, the larger diameter. Paracord's great. Um, for things like the taut line hitch because it's easy to carry. Um, it also bites really well even though the sheath on paracord is, is like a nylon construction. Um, it will still bite pretty good. And you can also use natural fiber rope like a jute um, or something of the like. Um, that'll bite really well too on something like this. 
Um, however, the, the main goal with this is to be able to stake out a tent or a rain fly or something like that. So this fixed point that we tied around would just be, you know, your stake in the ground and, you know, this would come around over it like this and your tension is applied here. So what's great is as the wind starts messing with your rain fly or your, your tarp and loosens it up, you can come over to your taut line hitches and just adjust them back out and tighten them up. So truly a very versatile knot and one you should definitely keep in your repertoire. Okay, so you can see I've added the taut line hitch now to our little knot board and it's filling up fast. I'm starting to, to get quite a few knots on here. I really do like the way that the heat shrink tubing is coming out on this. I think it really gives uh, the knots that are tied with that small diameter cotton line some, some good, good characteristics. You can kind of see where the end points are on all those. So anyhow, as we continue, I will keep filling this up. And um, again, we're going to try to do something with the, the actual cordage itself, like with some Mod Podge or something to help keep the shape when it's mounted to the board. Um, and then we also are looking at something different for the background and maybe some trim pieces. But again, this is MDF and that's kind of what we're going to base this on. And then we'll slowly start to build out the frame once we get all of our knots tied. So hope you're enjoying it. All right, thanks for following along with our progress today. Remember, we tied the taut line hitch, one of the most versatile knots out there. So if you're interested in what we're doing here with the DIY knot board display, be sure to check out our other knot videos that we've recently released because we are tying Everything that you've already seen in that knot board, as well as future stuff, we are going to build our own nautical type knot board like that. So, follow along.